turnkey and ready for action. Folks, this is the pedigree you are looking for. Of course, I'm talking about this beautiful Columbia behind me. I'm A.K. Beeler with Next GA Aircraft. We specialize in the next generation of general aviation aircraft. And this one is a stunner. This aircraft looks brand new. It's a 2002 Columbia 300. Gorgeous, all the bells and whistles. Can't wait to brag all about her. So come on, let's get started. So you like to go fast, so do I. And this is the race bread engine, Teledyne Continental IO550, 310 horsepower. You've got the gammy injectors, tuned induction, 1660 on the engine, beautiful airframe, and Hartzell prop sense new. And the compression checks, fabulous 72s. So the airplane is stunning. And if you're like me, you can't help but notice this, the new spirit of St. Louis. What does that mean? Well, maybe you know, this was inspired by this same airplane type that Eric Lindbergh flew in memory of his grandfather, that famed flight. If this airplane doesn't inspire you to go flying, nothing will. We've got 98 gallons of usable fuel here. This is a fast airplane, 190 knots. That means we can fly about 1,200 nautical miles with IFR reserves without a pit stop. Check out the beautiful lines of this aircraft, folks. You don't get that in an all-metal airplane. She is beautiful and she's strong. In fact, the airplane is in the utility category. So let's talk a little bit about the structural integrity of the aircraft. Did you know there are two wingtip to wingtip spars? They're made out of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is about six times stronger than steel. And you know, just one of those wing spars is strong enough to withstand the utility category of the aircraft. No doubt about it, this airplane is a head turner. So check out the beautiful paint. It's white with glacier blue and gold fire mist. It's in great condition. And there's no question, folks, you fly this plane and you will be the rock star of the ramp. Just think of all the incredible dream destinations this airplane can fly you to. And of course, you're going to want to take your stuff with you. So let's check out the baggage compartment. You can carry about 120 pounds of your favorite things in here. Let's say you go shopping on one of your flights or you want to carry something big. No worries. See that black bar in there? We can remove that, fold those seats down and load the aircraft like an SUV. So it only makes sense that an airplane so beautiful on the outside would be this luxurious on the inside. So check out the interior. We've got tan leather buckskin seats. We've got beautiful sheepskin coverings on the front seats. And underneath that, the seats are in great condition. So overall, you're going to pamper your passengers. And of course, we've got four place intercom. Hi, I'm William Bird with Next GA Aircraft. And today we're here to look at this outstanding and heavily upgraded panel on Columbia 300 November 144 Alpha Echo. Let's take a look. Starting on the pilot side, at the left side of the panel, here at the top we have our autopilot master switch, fuel quantity gauges, manifold pressure and fuel flow, amps. You can see the vacuum system is removed in this airplane because it's now all electric, RPM, oil temperature and pressure information, and here's our JPI engine monitor with all six EGTs and CHTs. From the factory, the Columbia 300 was equipped with six-pack standard flight instruments. Now this particular 300 has been upgraded with this beautiful G500 Garmin glass panel display. Now this integrated flight display uh, is also equipped with synthetic vision. We can see here to the left in our primary flight display in the center, we have our attitude indicator with inclinometer. To the left is our uh, airspeed tape with V speeds. True airspeed is also displayed along with wind data. Uh, at the top we always have our trip information displayed and to the right is our altitude uh, tape with pre-select and our vert vertical speed indicator. To the center is our digital HSI. Now to the right of this G500 is our multifunction display. And it is equipped with terrain. You can see it's yellow because we're on the ground here. If I go over, here's our safe taxi page. Now this 300 is upgraded with ADSB in and out, so we have an ADSB traffic page displayed here, and our TOS B page. We also have ADSB weather. Uh, we're in the hangar here, so we're not picking up a signal, but if we were up flying, 
we would have NEXRAD information along with uh, tabs and METARs, an AUX page, and our flight plan page. If we had a flight plan loaded in here, it would be displayed on the prime, uh, excuse me, the multifunction display. Here above our Garmin G500, we have our digital Davtron clock. At the very top, we have our enunciator panel. Below here is our altitude pre-select, our S-Tech pre-select with our S-Tech autopilot enunciator. Traffic mute acknowledge button. And here's how we switch between GPS mode and heading mode. And then the center is our backup flight instruments. In addition to our Garmin G500, we have dual Apollo MX20s. Now Apollo has been bought out by Garmin. Uh, you can see these are older displays, so there are some uh, defects, some lines in the display along with this uh, black uh, blob here on the display. But you do have access to a moving map. Uh, there's also charts loaded on this top one. And we have the identical MX20 below. To the right of the panel, we have a panel mounted 496. Now this is also equipped with uh, Garmin Safe Taxi along with XM Weather. So you have ADS-B weather on your G500 and XM weather here on your 496. This particular 300 is, has been upgraded with the S-Tech 55X. That means it has GPS steering so we can load a complicated uh, GPS flight plan into uh, the Garmin 430 Navcom GPS and this autopilot is going to follow it. Below we have our fuel flow indicator. This is a shade and fuel computer with digital fuel flow. Below that we have our Apollo uh, SL15M audio panel with three light marker beacon. And here's another upgrade. This has been upgraded with the Garmin 430W WAS Navcom GPS. Now also displays ADSB traffic and because it's a WAS unit now we can shoot fully coupled GPS precision approaches down to minimums. Below is our number two comm, it's an SL30, a NAVCOM. And here we have our digital transponder, it's a GTX 330 Mode S Garmin transponder. One feature of the Columbias that most owners really love, I know I love it, is the dual side stick controls. Now you're directly linked to your control surfaces with what they call lifetime pushrod controls. Now they call them lifetime pushrod controls because they're stainless steel and they require really virtually no maintenance. I mean, you, you inspect them every year at annual, maybe lubricate them, but uh, they're directly linked to your control surfaces, so you're feeling the real air pressures over the control surfaces, and it makes it just a ton of fun to fly. This 2002 Columbia 300 is gorgeous. Lots to love here. Let's talk about the avionics upgrade. G500 fully integrated glass panel flight deck. You've got ADSB in and out. You've got synthetic vision, traffic TIS. Yeah, lots to love here. So she's beautiful and she's got brains and she's got that powerhouse engine, 190 knots. So what are you waiting for? Come check us out. We're at Piedmont Triad International Airport. We are next GA aircraft. Check us out online at nextga.com. Give us a call at 336-665-0300. Folks, when these Columbias come in, they don't last long. They fly away in a hurry because folks know a beautiful aircraft when they see one. Why fly a normal aircraft when you can fly a Columbia? For Next GA Aircraft, I'm May Kay Beeler. Thanks so much for watching.